Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss some of the advantages of uh, the .NET Core framework. So this is one of the <coughs> important interview questions uh, that is commonly asked. So before learning a technology, it is always better to understand what are some of the benefits of using this technology. So .NET Core uh, came actually after the uh, .NET framework. Uh, so we will be examining the benefits uh, mainly comparing with the .NET framework. So first of all, the main advantages of using .NET Core is it is cross-platform. Actually .NET Core can be run on various operating systems including Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Uh, but traditional .NET supports only Windows operating system. That is one of the main difference between uh, .NET Core and uh, .NET Framework. So <clears throat> you can um, develop applications on any of these operating systems when you are um, using .NET Core. Uh, that's a huge uh, benefit. So the another advantage is .NET Core is currently open source which is hosted in uh, GitHub. So source code is public. Uh, anyone can uh, access and uh, take participate in the development of the .NET Core framework and it is free to distribute but uh, if you uh, for the .NET framework actually it's actually paid uh, for the business use and uh, it's not open source uh, it's actually um, developed by the <coughs> private team in the Microsoft so it's not an open source software so that's one of the uh, another major difference between and this is the .NET framework and the .NET Core. So .NET Core is open source means the development will be much faster than normal development and because uh, a lot of people are um, participating in the development process. So comparatively new versions will be released very quickly. Uh, so that's one of the main uh, uh, advantage of using this technology. So another uh, major advantage is it's actually modularity and it's lightweight because uh, when we develop uh, .NET Core applications we mainly uh, use uh, NuGet packages it's actually a package manager for uh, .NET Core applications so using that uh, you can uh, install uh, libraries and uh, which can be added to your project uh, uh, very easily so uh, when you start a fresh project uh, there will be minimal uh, dependencies uh, installed uh, to your uh, project and uh, upon the requirement you can add uh, only when the a particular package is required only when you can add that package so it's actually uh, uh, comparatively lightweight compared to the dotnet and uh, it's actually uh, the compilation time is uh, pretty fast uh, because of this feature and uh, the application build size is also smaller compared to the traditional uh, .NET applications so it's a major advantage of using this uh, .NET Core so, so as a result we get the higher per, uh, performance uh, the performance of the .NET Core is uh, optimized uh, due to its uh, just-in-time compilation so uh, code execution and the compilation time is much faster uh, the code is compiled in very little time compared to the traditional uh, .NET uh, framework uh, so so .NET Core uh, offers very high performance uh, so it's an, another huge advantage of using this uh, .NET Core so another advantage is that uh, currently .NET Core has the inbuilt support for uh, Docker so when you uh, first uh, create a project in uh, Visual Studio <clears throat> there is an option to enable the docker support uh, so using this uh, containerization we can quickly develop and uh, deploy the applications uh, comparing mm, to the traditional uh, monolithic approach uh, we can actually easily develop the microservices uh, applications uh, quickly in .NET Core uh, so that's another huge advantage of using this uh, .NET Core uh, since traditional applications do not support this uh, uh, containerization by default uh, but in .NET Core uh, this kind of support is uh, by default it's enabled in Visual Studio so you can easily develop the application. 
so another uh, major advantage is actually uh, the ef core ef core is actually the database layer for the dotnet core application it's actually an orm which actually connect to the database uh, so using this uh, ef core uh, we can concentrate on uh, solving the business uh, problem uh, rather than uh, writing manual queries and all um, you can uh, use the orm methods to uh, <coughs> query the database and uh, add the records uh, instead of manually writing the lengthy SQL queries. So all the database operations are carried out uh, via the uh, entity framework and uh, all the table creations and uh, <coughs> manually uh, adding uh, <coughs> columns is uh, all kind of these kind of steps are done uh, using the entity framework only. So all the tables are created uh, using the entity framework uh, uh, command line mainly in from the vs code visual studio so it's a major advantage of uh, using this dot uh, uh, net core compared to the traditional uh, uh, application development uh, using the uh, sql so another advantage of using uh, entity framework is that uh, it supports uh, multiple uh, database providers so even if you change the database uh, provider, uh, you still uh, can write the same code uh, because entity framework handle that uh, inside that <coughs> entity framework source code. So you don't have to worry about uh, writing different uh, syntax when you change the database layer. So it's a huge benefit uh, of your, when you use .NET Core with the entity framework or as your uh, ORM and uh, another uh, advantage is actually uh, it's actually not limited to uh, just uh, developing web development web applications only you can uh, develop windows forms wpf and uh, more actually um, traditionally all these are possible only under uh, .NET framework but uh, nowadays all this kind of development is still uh, possible with the latest .NET core version as well so it's a huge benefit of uh, developing um, different kind of applications with uh, .NET Core. Another uh, major advantage is uh, hosting support. Actually, .NET Core supports multiple hosting. By default, when you create an application uh, using Visual Studio, uh, it uses the Kestrel server. But you can also host it using the Windows IIS and uh, the Nginx. But uh, the .NET framework, the traditional .NET framework supports only IIS hosting. So it's a huge advantage because uh, most of the um, Linux servers in the world is uh, currently using, mo mostly using the Nginx servers. So you can deploy your .NET Core applications in almost every servers uh, currently, uh, not only in Azure and all, because Nginx is a widely used uh, server uh, uh, so you can, if you if you host the server using the Nginx, uh, you can deploy your applications in any uh, hosting providers. So it's a major advantage uh, compared to the traditional uh, .NET framework. So uh, one of the main another advantage is built-in dependency injection. So dependency injection is an advanced concept, but <coughs> dependency injection is uh, uh, been built into the .NET Core framework. Uh, so, in dot, traditional dotted framework, actually, it does not have the built-in DI. So we have to manually implement the uh, dependency injection into the framework. So that's not very easy. But compared to that, uh, in dotnet core, we can uh, easily inject the dependencies in our main startup class. So, so it's very fairly easy and. Uh, uh, using this dependency injection, we can develop uh, applications which are usually loosely coupled, uh, which results in uh, reusability of the code and also easier to test and maintain. So these are one of uh, one of the most uh, common advantages of using .NET Core uh, compared to the .NET. And in general, all these benefits are. Uh, because of all these benefits um, uh, made the popularity of uh, this uh, .NET Core framework. So 
will be discussing the source code and uh, and I start developing the applications in the upcoming video.